Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. Hope you're all having a good week in the Swiss Time News. I'm Jabor, and this is going to be the next video on the women's prelims as we go over Team USA now moving to 2-0 and after they're able to take down ROC, the Russian Olympic Committee team. Uh, team USA comes in and is able to take them down after having a very, 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 very good first game in the 5-2 victory. Um, against Finland, they then have a five to nothing now, doubling up on five goal games um, against ROC, the Russian Olympic Committee, which is still getting used to saying that name instead of just saying Russia, which you can't say because of the way the logistics of it work with the doping scandal. But the ROC, uh, the U.S., they just weren't really even able to set up their game uh, in this game. The U.S just came out and established the momentum early. Uh, they were able to get a goal on the great tic-tac-toe passing on the power play for the goal to Harmon in front. That was the absolute coach to a T, how you would train that in practice to happen, and they executed absolutely perfectly for the tic-tac-toe passing um, to score. And then ROC just could not keep up with the constant motion and speed of Team USA. They were constantly motioning the puck from side to side. Their speed... Um, similarly to what I said about Team Canada in this tournament in one of my past videos that I did earlier that you can check out in the playlist. I'd like at the end of this video, on all the videos, once they got around the defender and were able to utilize their speed by either doing a head fake or just being able to just straight up utilize their speed to get to the side of them and get around them, it was curtain and they were gone at that point and they were going to find a pass or ability to get a good high class shot on net where the only reason honestly this game was was a five five uh, goal game uh more than rather than more was Sorokina in net for ROC she was absolutely masterful in this game especially at the beginnings of this game she was making saves left and right uh that you're going okay wow yeah yeah she's really keeping them in this game and that's the main reason why they're able to keep this holding weight and kind of stay in the game. Where uh, when it came to the U.S. of A, in this game we had Hensley make absolutely great saves. We had a little bit of a run at the end of the first period when RC decided to shoot it on net. But minus that, it was a good clean game both ways that the USA was able to establish themselves early. They definitely get an A for this game. Against Finland, there was some bumps in the road that allowed the Finns to get their two goals. And what have you, there was no bumps in the road in this game. They established their game plan and they executed it from start to finish. And that is exactly what you want to see from the top-ranked team from the IIHF. And that is what USA looks like having a great start in the first two games, doubling up with five goal games. And they'll go to look to keep it going, obviously, as Team USA is rocking it. Their next game is against Switzerland um, tomorrow as they take down ROC 5 nothing after taking down Finland uh, 5 to 2 who has been faring very poorly because they also lost 11 to 1 uh, to the Canadians but well, as we wrap up the rest of this game um, you have the the one thing i must say is too is uh Queen Schofield of course the captain her line the speed that you have combination of that line they couldn't do anything that line was on the ice forget the rest of the team they couldn't even just keep up with the speed and motioning and all of that of of Team USA, they definitely couldn't do it with that line. They they were lost uh, when that happened. But then when the rest of the goals come just for bringing them down with the point shot, got deflected for Hillary Knight's goal, and then Zoom Winkle, one of the youngsters of Team USA at 22, was able to score cutting to the net in front when ROC could not get it out of the zone, and therefore allowed Team USA to get a good chance. And then Comfort, Jesse Comfort, JT Comfort's sister, was able to put one in on a very nice wrist shot, and then Carpenter was able to stay hot, play great in the first game against Finland, she was able to get a goal, which on the fifth one, on a nice rebound goal in front, which is what made it 5 to nothing. Um, when it came to Team USA in this game, obviously, like I just said, how came to Quinn Schofield, uh, her line established play, she would be a player of the game in this game even though she wasn't on the score tally or anything like that, that doesn't always equate for you to have to become a player of the game. When your line is the top class line of the game, that's going to um, help you become a player of the game when you're the top kahuna on that line. And then uh, 
On top of that, Carpenter has to be on there. She's played a great first two games, obviously. You definitely have to throw uh, her in there for sure. She's just been consistent uh, through the first two games. And then I would say it's just kind of a toss. You have Zoom Winkle, you have um, Confer there, and obviously you also have um, Hensley and others. You have Harmon, who was able to score a goal. So that, that that's kind of a flip, but I would say when it comes to Carpenter um, in this game, and it also comes to uh, Kendall Coyne Schofield, they have to be players of the game for sure, and then the rest is kind of like pick whoever you want to be the third person. But this was a great game for USA, one 5 nothing after winning 5-2 to two versus Finland, as they try to look to keep it going against Switzerland, which will be their next game, where overall for Switzerland this far, it hasn't been pretty a 5-2 loss to ROC after losing 12-1 to in their first tilt against Team Canada is how Switzerland's looking coming into playing USA, and they should be able to take advantage of, again, should, this is sports, but should be able to take advantage of Team Switzerland. Everybody have a great same day. Please subscribe up above on these views, which are down below on these views. Subscribe button to help us get to 200 by the end of February. Really appreciate you all, and I really love you all that have subscribed this far and appreciate your support. Enjoy the rest of the hockey action. Peace out, everybody.